1914, a strange being arrived on Earth from his home planet of Saturn. Upon his arrival in the town of Birmingham, Alabama, he was stripped of his memories and given the name Herman Poole Blount. In the late 1930s, however, he was teleported back to Saturn by other members of his race, where he rediscovered his true identity, Sun Ra. He returned to Earth and sought to spread his message of cosmic Afrocentrism through music. He moved to Chicago at the end of World War II, where he passed out pamphlets that laid out his esoteric views, coming into contact with and influencing the beliefs of the embryonic Nation of Islam and Black Hebrew Israelites. He played with swing legends like Coleman Hawkins while also leading his own space trio. It was with the space trio that Sun Ra began to truly develop his distinct sound and the best way of putting forth his beliefs. He added more than a half dozen members to form the Sun Ra Orchestra. Unable to find a label receptive to his work, he created one of the first artist-run independent record labels in the U.S., L. Saturn Records, which released most of the orchestra's more than 100 albums. In 1961, the orchestra went on tour, but after running out of money near Montreal, the band moved down to New York to immerse themselves in the city's hotbed of free jazz. The band's music got significantly weirder and less accessible, but that didn't stop them from getting big fans like Thelonious Monk and Dizzy Gillespie. The band grew to include nearly 30 musicians, singers, and dancers, and they only got stranger when they relocated permanently to the Germantown section of Philadelphia in 1968. In Philly, the band lived communally in one house, where they rehearsed for up to 12 hours a day. The band toured around the country and performed in Europe and Egypt, and Sun Ra even made the cover of Rolling Stone in 1969. In 1972, Sun Ra produced his defining statement as an artist, the film Space is the Place, and the accompanying album of the same name. Sun Ra returned to his home planet on May 30th, 1993. The orchestra, under the leadership of saxophonist Marshall Allen, still performs to this day. Sun Ra's music is still a major influence on free jazz, and his presence can be felt in hip-hop's weirder corners, from the Afrofuturism of Shabazz Palaces, to the beat collages and lyrics of Mad Come on, run. Who's for me? Come on, Fleet. Come on, Fleet. Equation-wise, the first thing to do is to consider time as officially ended. We work on the other side of time. There's no limit to the things that you can do. There's no limit to the things that you can do.